This is the second part of my Save Marina quest guide. Be sure to watch part 1 if you haven't already. There's a link in the description below. In part 1, I suggested not to equip the masks. This allows the hag to control you. I was told casting protection from good and evil before wearing the mask will prevent this. True enough, my party was then unaffected, and the masked guardians in the next room thought we were one of them. She'll take good care of you. Come down. However, you need to watch out. During the fight with the hag, she will summon them. This is in addition to three of her clones. They will easily overwhelm you. I think it's better to deal with them before heading further into the hag's lair. Try to avoid the gas clouds in the next area, and disable the traps. There are traps about. It'll be necessary to jump across the branches to reach the ancient abode. Another step forward. There! In the cage! Be prepared to fight Auntie Ethel here. She is a very easy opponent though and it's possible to defeat her with one character. You'll come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair! You petulant bollocks! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. Watch my other video if you're having a hard time beating her. There will be three possible outcomes from this fight. Just don't kill her wait. before oh, she attempts to negotiate. Let's be civilized about this, eh? I have something you want. But she's worthless to you. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. It's your choice, sweetness. You can kill her and get the spell thief, tarnish charm, and other minor loot. I'll rip out your throat yet, you little bollocks. Brat! Give her Marina in exchange for power. Here. What? What about me? Deals on, girl. And you're not leaving my side till you deliver. Or pass a difficult intimidation or deception check to get the power and save Marina. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal? What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you've her to thank for it. You bastard, you ruined it! You ruined everything! By making everything worse? Ethel was going to bring my husband back, back from the dead, and now I'll never see him again, because of you! I was fine! She wouldn't have killed me. I had something she wanted. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. 
Speaking with Marina, you'll find out she offered her baby in exchange for the hag reviving her dead husband. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. With Auntie Ethel's hair, you can select which stat you want to increase. Eat the hair to receive the effect. Wonder. The girl wanted her babe was going to eat it and make a hag daughter. If you killed her, Auntie Ethel will reveal that she was planning on eating the baby and making a daughter, far from the good life she promised Marina. In D&D lore, hags are born when a coven of three hags perform a ritual to transform a humanoid into one of their kind. This ritual involves a gruesome process where the victim is stripped of their humanity and transformed into a hag. Head to the acrid workshop to exit the area. On my way. That odd staff might be of interest to Gail. Be sure to pick up the one called Bitter Divorce. Auntie Ethel crafted this to revive Connor. We'll try it out and see what it does. You can find several potions here with interesting effects. Drinking one will give you one inspiration point, which you can use to reroll an ability check. The staff of crones can be given to Gale. This mushroom circle will take you outside. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Not even a little bit. But I will be. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! Why is he still dead? You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. I'll find him and bring him back. You'll have four options here. Give Marina the wand. 
However, the wand will be a prime target for Thanks. thieves and other magic users, we'll putting Marina in danger. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Come on, love. Let's go. Attempting to kill the abomination no, will no. turn Marina hostile. Oh, no. You'll have no choice but to fight her. Marina's cries will be gut-wrenching. Should you break or keep the wand for yourself? You bastard! Give him back! I thought you were going to hell! I thought... I thought... But I think this is the best option. She must learn to accept what happened and move on. The wand has unlimited charges. It will summon Connor for 10 turns. Connor doesn't have any special attacks, but will serve well enough as a meat shield for your weaker party members. So I'm keeping it. Nerina lost her husband, and tragically lost her brothers as well. Let's hope the future will be kinder to her and her baby. This is the Barbarian King Liver. He's 100% natty. I'll explore the Barbarian subclasses on my video next Sunday. Thanks for watching.